Hey everyone! Are you a fan of beer? Well, you might be surprised to learn that in the country of Iceland, beer was actually banned for a time period of nearly 75 years. But why did this happen? And how has it affected Iceland's drinking culture today? Let's dive into the interesting and unique history of Iceland and its relationship with beer. Before we get into the ban, it's important to understand the history and culture of Iceland. Located in the North Atlantic Ocean, Iceland is a small island nation with a population of just over 370,000 people. But Iceland also has a rich history dating back to the Viking Age. In fact, the country was settled by Norsemen in the 9th century, who brought with them their traditions and customs, including the consumption of beer. Today, there are countless breweries in Iceland, producing a variety of beers. From traditional ales and lagers, to fruity and spicy varieties, Icelandic beer has something for everyone. Another thing that makes Iceland unique is its geographical features. This small island nation is home to impressive glaciers, stunning waterfalls, and vast lava fields. If you're looking for an unforgettable adventure, then head up north. Here you can explore the spectacular landscapes as well as volcanoes, geysers, and even black sand beaches. However, as the years passed, the influence of Christianity grew in Iceland, and with it came stricter laws and regulations on alcohol consumption. In 1915, the Icelandic parliament passed a law prohibiting the production and sale of all alcoholic beverages with an alcohol content higher than 2.25%. This effectively banned beer, as most beers have an alcohol content higher than this limit. The ban was in place for nearly 75 years until it was finally lifted in 1989. So what led to this decision to lift the ban? Well, it's important to note that the ban on beer was not the only measure taken to curb alcohol consumption in Iceland. The country also implemented strict regulations on the sale and advertising of alcohol, as well as higher taxes on alcoholic beverages. These measures were put in place in an effort to reduce the negative effects of alcohol abuse, such as crime and health issues. But as the years passed, the ban on beer became increasingly unpopular and was seen as a burden on the economy. Many argued that the ban only encouraged the illegal production and import of beer, leading to a rise in organized crime. In the 1980s, a grassroots movement emerged calling for the lifting of the ban on beer. This movement gained traction and eventually led to a referendum on the issue in 1988. The referendum resulted in a narrow victory for those in favor of lifting the ban, with about 60% of voters in favor. On March 1, 1989, the ban on beer was finally lifted and the country rejoiced. Breweries began operating once again and the availability of beer greatly improved. But even with the lifting of the ban, Iceland's relationship with alcohol remains complex. The country still has strict regulations on the sale and advertising of alcohol, and the legal drinking age is 20. In addition, alcohol is taxed at a higher rate than in other countries, making it more expensive to purchase. Despite these regulations, the consumption of alcohol in Iceland has increased since the lifting of the ban on beer. However, the country still has one of the lowest rates of alcohol consumption in Europe. There are now 27 craft breweries in Iceland, making some of the best beer in the world. Not only are the beers of outstanding quality, but they're also incredibly diverse in styles and flavors. From sweet dark stouts to citrusy pale ales to tart sour IPAs, there's something for everyone in Iceland's craft beer scene and with a wide range of local food options, it can be hard to find a better place to enjoy some truly unique suds. Icelandic beer is also so popular that there are even tours of the breweries available. If you're looking for a truly unique beer tasting experience, this is a great opportunity to sample the local brews and find out what makes them so special. With many of the breweries offering up free samples, it's also an affordable way to try some of the best beers in Iceland. So if you're looking for an adventure in flavor, make sure you check out all that Icelandic craft breweries have to offer. In conclusion, the ban on beer in Iceland was a result of the country's strict regulations on alcohol consumption, which were put in place to address the negative effects of alcohol abuse. The ban was eventually lifted in 1989 due to public pressure and the negative economic effects it had on the country. 
Today, Iceland still has strict regulations on the sale and advertising of alcohol, but the lifting of the ban on beer has led to an increase in alcohol consumption. So, what do you think about Iceland's unique history with beer? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.